Hi, and welcome to SCSU TV. I'm Christina Chiarelli. And I'm Jonathan Burton. The top stories are what students think of Con Hall, are there enough options, a profile about the new SGA president and what he wants to be remembered as, and Obama's plans for health care. Feeling stressed already about midterms? There will, be a midterm, there will be a midterm stress management table set up in the Student Center on October 15th. The table will have information on how to manage time and balance life during midterms. It will be set up from 11 to 1 p.m. Almost every student on campus dines at Con Hall, and we want your opinion. SESU TV reporter Jonathan Burton with the story. The cost of the meal plan has increased, but what about the quality of the food? If you live on campus, then you are a frequent visitor of Con Hall. Some are forced to pay for the meal plan. Is it worth it? I like the way it's set up. It's really easy to find whatever you want. Food's always good. They always have different stuff for you to get. The pizza here, I have to have a slice like every time I come here. It's always fantastic. I don't eat here that much because I'm not too fond of it. I'm a vegetarian and they don't offer that much for me to eat. I think that they need to, you know, maybe take a survey of what people are looking for. My honest feelings for Con Hall is that sometimes the food could be good, but it gets so repetitive that you become immune to how it tastes. Um, my feelings on Con Hall are, I wish I had a meal plan because I'm tired of paying seven dollars to get in here, but I don't know, where are the forks? Every time I come in here, there are never, there's a bunch of knives, I can't really eat with knives. Uh, my feelings on Con Hall are very positive. It suits me well because I am a break dancer, I work out consistently, and I'm trying out for the step team, so I need as much protein as possible, and Con Hall gives me all that and beyond. We spoke with Justin Hill, a Con Hall employee, to get his opinion on the students' feedback. It seems like the students' preference and the students' choice isn't really taken into that much of consideration. Basically, it's what makes the company money. And if it costs them less to provide this product or this service, then that's pretty much what it equates to. And so this is only about the third, fourth week of school right now, and you've got freshmen already coming in saying, man, this food is still the same. It sucks. It's blah, 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 whatever. Jonathan Burton reporting for SESU TV. Music could be heard around Southern's campus a few weekends ago. The Plain White Tees performed at the Lyman Center on September 19th. The show gave students an up-close experience with a major headlining band. This group is currently on tour with Snow Patrol. This year, Southern Student Government Association has a new leader on campus. SESU TV reporter Christina Chiarelli with the story. Senior Recreation and Leisure major, Willie Garcia, is the new student government president at Southern. Garcia says he got started in SGA as a representative at large. Me personally, I started with the Board of Elections and Internal Management. Um, so I heard I helped the board chair um, kind of do the internal management of student government um, when it came down to office hours, when it came down to the office supplies, when it came down to like rules for the office and like making sure that the, all the members were doing their duties. So that's kind of how I got started. SGA's previous president, Andrew Murillo, asked Garcia if he would take the position. As elections were coming around, you know, the president had told me, he's like, I don't think I'm going to be the president next year. Um, I have a lot going on. Um, and he's like, I kind of want you to come along with me and, and start kind of seeing what um, some of the things that I do. Garcia says that he likes to help students. For this year, he hopes to raise school spirit at Southern. Um, a lot of students really buy into, like, you know, we're a commuter school and, like, the school spirit is not as, as high as we would like it to be. Um, at this point, the school spirit has it, been increasing a lot of more uh, students are, are going, but really the challenge is to kind of get people to think of the university in a more positive way. Ben McNamee, junior history secondary education major, is vice president of SGA. McNamee works alongside Garcia. I, I'm right behind him with everything he does, so um, if he's at a meeting, um, he goes to more meetings than I do, but um, occasionally he has me come in to um, play the role of vice president. Garcia is always on the go. Um, there, are, and there are some difficulties of, of being the president. Um, I have to balance my personal life as well as my school life as well as my work life. Um, I'm always on the go, so I, I hardly ever really have free time. And that's something that I've learned to manage. Garcia says he wants to be a president for the students. I just want to be remembered as a president that 
is easygoing, um, is a president that's made positive changes for the university, and is a president that students look up to, a president that they see um, he's just like us. Despite his new responsibilities, Willie Garcia is confident to be president. Reporting for Southern TV, this is Christina Chiarelli. President Obama faces a long to-do list this fall. One of his top priorities is health care reform. At the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation's dinner on September 27th, the president reassured all those in attendance that he plans to get it done this year. The Crescent Players will be performing Shakespeare's Othello in the Lyman Center. Shows will be held from October 13th to the 16th at 8 p.m. Additional performances will be October 17th and 18th at 2 p.m. The shows are directed by Sheila Hickey Garvey and presented by the Theater Department. Admissions is $10 for the public and $5 for students, staff, and senior citizens. You can find more information at tickets.southernct.edu. Just four months after signing a book deal, Sarah Palin's 400-page memoir, Going Rogue, is finished. It will be released November 17th instead of this spring, as it was previous, previously reported. Her publisher, Jonathan Burnham, told reporters that the book is about her life. New and returning students fled to the academic quad September 4th for the Student Involvement Fair. Ben McAmey has the story on how clubs and organizations were looking to recruit new members. On September 4th, many clubs gathered in the academic quad to recruit potential members at the club fair. SESU TV was on the scene with Ben McNamee, the Vice President of Student Government, to get people's thoughts on the day. Keep doing your thing. All right. I'm about to interview Christoph from the Physics Club on campus. Okay, so uh, we meet on Fridays in the afternoon in Jennings. And uh, well, today we have just set up a bunch of toys. But during the year, we work on different projects. Uh, I mean, whatever people want to do, whoever comes to the club, we have a sign-up sheet. Whoever signs up, we send an email. Whoever shows up, they can just propose projects, and then you know we'll pick some and do them during the year. Overall, it's been great. Uh, it's a little hot out, but that's been good because we have a parabolic mirror capturing sunlight and boiling some water. Hey, this is Chuck Clapp from SGA. Um, coming at the club fair, I believe, what has it been? About 3 o'clock-ish? 3 o'clock-ish, yeah. 3.52 is almost 4. 3.52. 8 minutes to 4. Making my rounds. Um, great clubs. I sign up. How you doing? Sign up for the uh, Italian club, um, physics club. Help me with homework. Really impressive showing. A um, bunch of people out here very enthusiastic. I got to say, SGA table's the best. Aww. And, um... All right, club fair. Peace out, guys. Thank you. It's going really well. Um, we seem to have a lot of really dedicated freshmen this year. Um, they're really excited. And lots of like people who are really concentrating on theater, which is cool. It is awesome. That's about it. That fun word describes it all. I think it's great. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of people came out, so I'm having a good time. See, I'm with ProCon. And one of the things we did this year was we, we became mannequins. Man and we were holding flyers and t-shirts for the Plain White Tees concert. And we were being mannequins, just, you know, sort of That kind of thing. The club and involvement fair 2009. It was great. It's good weather. A little hot. But of course, SJ hooked us up with the water bottles. And uh, it was good. I think a lot of freshmen liked it. I think that we got a lot of people out here. And it was a fun day. You know what? Every fair here, every event is so awesome. And this is just another one. Club and involvement fair 2009. You can't beat it. Thank you for watching SCSU TV. I'm Christina Chiarelli. And I'm Jonathan Burton. Join us next week for another edition.